Using your money, Children in Need supports groups in every local authority in Scotland. 2016 will see over £5 million distributed to hundreds of organisations. Some are involved in helping youngsters with medical or physical problems. But other groups help in less obvious ways, like offering a safe place to play or simply someone to talk to. Projects funded by Children in Need supports 55,000 children in Scotland a year. Youth groups which divert kids from crime and offer opportunities for socialising and support are at the heart of the charity's work. Every week, Twilight Basketball's Dunfermline group coaches 30 children. One of those was Greg. Greg was just 10 when his dad died. A year later, while still reeling from the shock, his mum decided to uproot him from their home in Poland. It all happened within a week, so I just got told to pack and leave. I was pretty, pretty scared and worried about my life at that moment. Leaving all that was familiar was a huge wrench, but trying to get to grips with a new language and find friends was even harder. I had nobody to hang about with or to talk to. Sat on my own all the time and just think about life. It was an incredibly lonely and anxious time. The one place where Greg hoped he'd feel safe and supported was at home, but it wasn't to be. My mum kind of started not to bother speaking to me. She was either locked up in her own room or away with her boyfriend. I was just myself in the living room. I never had a bed, so I, I had to sleep on a sofa. I never had proper call bed. It was pretty cold in the winter. And that wasn't the only hardship young Greg had to endure. You noticed certain things. The clothes were dirty. The shoes were getting more and more tattered. You could see he was hungry. Food was always on his mind. My mum wasn't really focusing on what to get me to eat. I was pretty hungry quite a lot of times. Especially in summer when you have no school, so you have no school meals to, to fall back on. Life at home took its toll on Greg. He was starting to discolour in the face. I felt a bit unwanted by my, by my own family. I think that they don't really want me there. For a few hours every Friday, basketball gave Greg contact with people who supported him. I basically asked Greg if everything was okay, and that's when he opened up about all the problems at home. To see who's got the most. He was being locked out of rooms, he didn't really get access to the kitchen. He very rarely got to wash his clothes. That's when the alarm bells kicked in. It was a huge relief for Greg to finally tell someone about his troubles. I knew that I can trust him with this and I knew he would, could help me. As a result of Ross's intervention, Greg was removed from his home and placed in emergency foster care. Three years on and the teenager is thriving. His best friend's parents took him in and invited Greg to join their family for good. We just wanted him to have what my kids have. <laughs> it's actually amazing how they basically just give me a new home and treat me like one of their own kids. He actually became, like say, one of the family just overnight and he treats us like mum and dad. Twilight basketball means everything to Greg. He wouldn't be here if it wasn't for them. Greg's life has been transformed by the support and training he received from the youth group. Even though Twilight taught me sport and how to play basketball, uh, I kind of look at it more of a life-changing opportunity. I met new people, I got a new family, and I'm still with Twilight, and now I'm volunteering, helping them out. Stop the dribbling! They all provided me all the things that I need to make myself a happy guy again. When you're dribbling the ball, make sure that your eyes are up. So you're not because of them, I've got something new to look forward to, and new, new happy life. Twilight gave Greg the confidence to get a full-time job and in turn his story has inspired one of their schemes. 
The Ambassador Programme, which is funded by Your Money, trains Greg and 23 other coaches to support the next generation. Now I am a part-time basketball referee, so I go on the weekends and referee basketball games. I am very proud of how far I came because of Twilight. Greg's on such a ride. Um, he's just on a roller coaster with his hands up, just enjoying what's happening. And it's, it's fantastic to see and long may it continue for them. To donate £10, text the word DONATE to 70410. Texts will cost £10 plus your standard network message charge. For full terms and conditions and more information, visit bbc.co.uk slash pudsey, where you can also make a donation online.